Welcome on YouTube, it's your boy Jimmy back with another video. Today we're going to be reacting to 20 things you didn't know about Cristiano Ronaldo Sui. Now, y'all know I'm the biggest Messi fan there is on this planet, bro. I've been, been big, I've been a Messi fan before Messi knew he was Messi, bro. I'm telling you right now. You look at that jersey, bro. Come on, man. But y'all know I respect Cristiano Ronaldo as well. As I've grown up, I used to argue a lot in schools. And I know everybody probably does still to this day. Like, Ronaldo versus Messi debates was toxic. Let me, I'm serious, yo. The Ronaldo versus Messi debate was very toxic in school. I remember even in El Clasico, if Barcelona lost, if Real Madrid beat Barcelona in El Clasico, bro, I would not want to go to school. I would be dreading going to school because I know I was going to get clowned by all the Ronaldo fans, bro. But as I grow older, I've gained to, to respect Ronaldo a lot as a footballer, man, as a striker, as a goal scorer, as one of the best players ever. Ever. I, do I still think Messi's better than Ronaldo? Hell yeah! I'm a Messi fan, bro. But I still think Ronaldo and Messi are the two best players ever in this world. Like, I don't think any... I know there's a lot of debates about these old grandpas before Messi and Ronaldo era, bro. And I'm not disrespecting them. I'm just, I'm just being comedic right now because it's YouTube. I'm not disrespecting the legends. But Messi and Ronaldo, for me... Are the two um, goats of football, bro? I don't care. I don't care what anybody want to say. For me, Messi and Ronaldo are the two goats of football, man. But we gonna get right into the video. Subscribe if you're not already. Hit that subscribe button down below, man. Let's get it. Are twenty things you didn't know about Cristiano Ronaldo? Are you ready to have your mind blown? And first, I bet you didn't know that Ronaldo can run faster than car. Um, yes, I knew. Um, first of all, number 20, mate. For the young kids watching this video right now, I know y'all probably wouldn't know this. But for all of us who were in that era in football, like the 2008 to 2015 era in football, we knew these happened, bro. We knew the Ronaldo race, the Bugatti, the Wayne Rooney video when the when the, the guys pulled up on the bus with the, for the T. Y'all remember the T90? Was it the T90? Was that what it's called? I don't remember. The the, the football boots, the, the Nike total 90, T90 football boots and ball. Like, they pulled up to Rooney's house and they played Rooney football in his front lawn. All those videos are iconic, bro. Ours? Damn, Ronaldo might become the next Usain Bolt. <laughs> but at number 19, Ronaldo already became the richest football player of all time? You are apparently worth half a billion dollars damn i don't know maybe what maybe the more does that reporter think he is ronaldo's worth way more than that on the field alone he's racked in over 500 million but off the field, ronaldo's been creating his own nft collections dropping merch for his fans so okay bro now nah. l pause by the way let me get it off the screen let me get speed off the screen bro so ronaldo even makes over a million dollars every single time he posts on the ground no way, no way. He makes over a million dollars every time he posts? Bro, I'm posting every minute, bro. I'm posting every minute. Bam. But Ronaldo's biggest money move was when he became just the third athlete ever to sign a lifetime deal with, with Nike. Nike. Yep. And it made him football's first billionaire. Yep. So yeah, he's rich, rich. But at number 18, he used to be fat, fat. Nah, but Ronaldo's team was so concerned about him putting on a few pounds. No way. They hired a fat guy just to motivate it. A lot of people say my methods and exercises are silly or irrelevant. Those people are wrong. This has got to be a joke, right? There's no way Ronaldo um, needed a fat coach. Right, guys? Am I tripping? <laughs> And you're gonna do it. Okay, it's definitely comedy. There's no way this fat guy is 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 teaching Ronaldo um workouts, bro. Come on, now we all know Ronaldo work ethic is the one of the best. I should I think it's the best in football to be honest. Ronaldo's worth work ethic, bro. Until you kind of feel dizzy. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Backer. Uh, uh, uh. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Man, I'm trying to get wet with Ronaldo, but I ain't the only one. Cause at number 17, pause. Ronaldo admitted that the best goal of his career doesn't compare to what his girl does to him. The way I jump, 
against Juventus, quarterfinals of Champions League, probably one of the best goals I ever seen in football. Better than sex? Better than sex? No, it was. <laughs> no, with my Gio, no. She said, she Georgiana, wears sexy lingerie in bed every night. And she does that because it makes her feel good. So the obvious question, Christiana, is does it make you happy? Makes me happy. Yeah, I can see why Ronaldo loves the bedroom. That's why. W Ronaldo in the chat, bro. I, I love Ronaldo, bro. At number 16, he's also the best sleeper in the entire world. It's the key. Instead of going to sleep at night and waking up in the morning like us normal people, Ronaldo's built different and takes five 90 minute naps per day. Whether it's on his private jet. <laughs> on his $30,000 custom mattress, Ronaldo cares about sleep so much, he literally forced his football club to install sleeping pods at their training facility. What? Now this man knows how to get laid. But now you see where Ronaldo gets his energy for number 15. He has a better voice than most singers. Even though Ronaldo was seen kicking it with rapper Lil Wayne. And money! Yo, money! <laughs> <laughs> what he actually listens to is Phil Collins, George Michael, Elton John, Brazilian music, Portuguese. Now, W plays by Ronaldo though, like Elton John, Phil Collins. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh Lord, like all those are fire, bro. I mean, this man's bumping this music everywhere. And not only was Ronaldo eventually inspired to hop in the booth, Amor mio, eres el ser que amo sin fin. Look at his voice! When did he do this? Yo, why speed everywhere in Ronaldo's video, bro? Winnie Houston! Winnie Ronaldo! Nowadays, Ronaldo sings his favorite song everywhere he goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, that's but let's be real. Ronaldo ain't actually trying to become a singer. No. Is it number 14? He's training to become a professional race car driver? He tried to teach me uh, some stuff, but he going so fast that I, I didn't take a lot of attention because I was like in the pressure. Unbelievable. Fantastic experience. <laughs> Just imagine getting passed up by a dude doing this. So I'm beginning to think there's nothing Ronaldo can't do. Because at number 13, he's got over 50 world records. From scoring what? the most goals ever, to being the highest rated FIFA player of all time, Ronaldo even recently bought the most expensive new car in history, a $14 million Bugatti. So reporters are always praising Ronaldo's records anytime they see him. You currently hold these records. Most goals in a UEFA Champions League season by an individual. Most Champions League goals scored in a calendar year. Most hat-tricks in a La Liga career. Most followers on Twitter for an athlete. Most liked person on Facebook in the world. Pretty, pretty good. The most followed per- Most followed on Instagram. And he's gonna overtake Mr. Beast in YouTube subscribers as well. Ronaldo just launched a YouTube channel called You Are Ronaldo. He- is literally gonna pass Mr. Beast in subscribers, bro. Ronaldo gained 25 million subscribers in one day. One day, bro. I've been grinding on YouTube for years, bro. Person on Facebook. Hell, his wiki page has been viewed over 48 trillion times. Oh my God. He recently became the first person ever to hit 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 million Instagram Six. followers. And He's at 600 million now, bro. He's at 600 million now. And he's the most followed Instagram ever. Hi guys, 400 million. Wow, what a number. Now I can say <laughs> Without you, this will be, would be possible. Inshallah. So, from the bottom of my heart, I have to say thank you. Man really has all those fans and didn't have to show his ass a single time? All right, maybe once, but. And number 11, being famous makes it impossible for Ronaldo to go out in public. Yeah, I've seen this video before. Um, 
literally every second he was just trying to eat food with his friends or whatever and every single second somebody come and ask him for photos i would get annoyed too bro but we all know it comes with being a famous and professional football player but at what point do people actually give them their space i'm absolutely joking because if i see ronaldo or messi bro i don't i'm i'm taking a photo too man i'm so sorry to messi or ronaldo for their privacy and their space but let's be honest guys if we all see ronaldo or messi at all in person like outside of the football stadium like in the street bro we gonna ask for a photo as well bro like i'm probably gonna ask him to sign my foot bottom bro like come on bro Ronaldo really took more pics than he took sips. Yeah. Now I see why he puts on disguises to just uh, go outside. That was a funny video. So yeah, fame isn't always the best thing in the world. And now that we're getting into the top 10, I guarantee you didn't know a damn thing about these stories. Okay, like let's Ronaldo, see. Crazy as that might be. At w Ronaldo, nine, W what Ronaldo. If I told you that Ronaldo owns something in outer space? It all started when Ronaldo surprised his fans by releasing brand new CR7 merch. Bro, when he released these shoes, the Galaxy, bro. Y'all know I'm a Messi fan and I'm an Adidas person because of Messi. Like F50, I, I bought almost every F50. But when these came out, bro, the Galaxies, even the ones with the pink and blue at the bottom. Y'all know, for real Ronaldo fans back in the day who grew, who were not like born in like 2010 or something. Like Ronaldo fans before then, right? Who were born before then? Y'all remember the 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 black the what the black Nike the black Mercurials with the white Nike sign, but had the blue and pink at the bottom, bro. I was feeling for those shoes. Merch that was galaxy themed, but these special edition pieces weren't only made because he liked the colors. Ronaldo wanted to honor some big news that he was being given his own galaxy in a place over 12 billion light years away has some of the first stars ever and is the brightest galaxy ever discovered how can you gift ronaldo get i don't get that though how can you gift him galaxies bro how is that even who owns the galaxy god does bro like how can we give somebody the galaxy bro like what are we talking about right now this is cosmos redshift 7 aka cr7 and yeah it was really named after ronaldo man this dude is everywhere just because he's a football go but ironically at number eight football isn't even ronaldo's favorite sport We've seen him trying out baseball where he got to hit dingers and throw out the first pitch at an MLB game. But with a noodle arm like that, ain't no way baseball's his favorite. Ronaldo loves basketball way more, from kicking in threes to throwing down dunks. It was even measured that Ronaldo's got a vertical leap higher than most NBA players. Ronaldo's yep. athleticism is beyond legendary. And that's why after he pulled off one of the craziest leaps Ooh. in football history, he compared himself to Michael Jordan and other NBA Ooh. players started doing Ronaldo's Ooh. celebration at their games. Still though, basketball is not even Ronaldo's favorite. In fact, he doesn't even like playing with balls. He prefers watching combat sports like boxing or UFC, even though he knows he'll never go pro. Do you think you could be a fighter? I don't think so. <laughs> wow, I never thought Ronaldo would be into that. But I also didn't think his diet would be as ridiculous as number seven. Ronaldo loves food so much, he can't even eat a single meal without taking a selfie with it. From kicking around his breakfast in the morning to a protein-filled diet of Portuguese dishes, octopus, pizza, and even KFC, Ronaldo hired a personal chef Yo. to make sure he eats Bro, ain't no way they showed Quavo chefing up. They showed Quavo as Ronaldo's personal chef, bro. <laughs> no way. Well, how did Quavo get in this video, by the way? A protein-filled diet of Portuguese dishes, octopus, pizza, and even KFC? Ronaldo hired a personal chef Yo. to make sure he eats six meals per day. So no matter where dude's at, he's always putting something in his mouth. Even on the field. Pause, bro. Pause. Uh, I didn't see that on the DoorDash menu. But as weird as that is, it ain't as weird as number six. Because Ronaldo's been in some of the weirdest commercials I've ever seen. What do you feel? Will you tell me? Why do you think he's so rich, bro? He does every commercial. I would have done the same thing. Ronaldo must have secured the bag of a lifetime to make a fool out of himself like that. 
but as much work as he puts into endorsements, he goes even harder at number five. Cause I bet you didn't know that Ronaldo works out more than any other athlete. Just take a look. Fam, we know. You don't think we know, bro? We all know, bro. We all know. We've been known. Look at this man's physique. <laughs> I mean, he definitely ain't like us. And it's not a coincidence that Ronaldo has less body fat than supermodels. He works out four hours a day, five days per week, and how much in a year? This year, I spend 620 hours in training sessions. Ronaldo's ridiculous workout routine ain't something you can do at Planet Fitness. Oh my God, bro. Oh, hell no. I mean, the dude literally does cardio by riding a bike underwater. And he lifts around 50,000 pounds every single session. That's like lifting a car 50 times. But Ronaldo would have never become who he was if it weren't for number four. Cause there's no way you knew that. Ronaldo used to be ugly as f ever since- <laughs> Hey, whoever is making this video, you're funny bro. I give it to you. The person who made this video, I get it, bro. You're funny, bro. God damn, they cooking Ronaldo. But he's funny, to be honest, the guy who made the video. Well, yes, we knew, bro. But right, right before, right, when he was in a sporting, and then he went to um, Man United, we knew, bro. We've seen the photos. A lot of footballers, Cornacho, Roberto, um, Firmino, like, a lot of the players, we knew, like, their teeth were messed up or whatever. It is what it is, bro. Like, people were, people, not everybody grew up rich and had the best facilities, like, dental care and everything, bro. We get it. Ronaldo grew up poor. A lot of footballers grew up poor, bro. But when they get to the football, you know, they fix their faces, they fix their teeth, whatever, you know what I mean? This dude got famous. He's gotten more plastic surgery than Michael Jackson. $600 a year to get his eyebrows lined up. $2,000 a year to fix his wrinkly ass forehead, 5 k for a nose job, $20,000 veneers, dude even got a hair transplant. I didn't know that. I didn't know he got a transplant and veneer. I knew he got veneers. I didn't know he got a transplant and a nose job. So he didn't end up like Andrew Tate. First things first, I'm bald by choice. Tate, shut your bowling ball head ass up. We're talking about Ronaldo here. Anyway, <laughs> Ronaldo went from a homeless man to an icon a little too fast. Cause now his ego's so big, he clowns all of his ugly teammates. <laughs> <laughs> Pepe, I knew. How, why do I know that was Pepe, bro? Oh my days, that's funny. How's he gonna let Ronaldo do him like that? Oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> At least he reminded Ronaldo who he used to be. Now that might be all fun in games, but at number three, Ronaldo recently suffered the biggest tragedy of his life. Cause right after him and his girl announced that they were expecting twins. Oh, I remember that. Since the world found out some devastating news. All right, we are going to begin the show today with some absolutely terrible news from England, where the Manchester United star Cristiano Ronaldo has announced that his baby boy has died. It's probably the worst moments that I passed through my life since my father died. You know, when you have a kid that you expect that everything will be normal and you have that problem, it's, it's hard, you know. As human being that I am, mean, we don't understand why it happened to us. Probably the most difficult moment that I had in my life, me and my, my family especially. And Ronaldo's teammates knew he was going through it, so they didn't mind if he missed their next match. But Ronaldo didn't want to let everybody down. So once he stepped on the field, he made history. Damn by scoring his 100th Premier League goal and dedicated his celebration to his baby. Man, everything Ronaldo does is legendary, but... And number two, the only reason Ronaldo even became a legend was the secret behind his jersey number. As a teenager, the first number that Ronaldo repped was 28, until he wore it during a friendly matchup against Man United and dominated their squad so badly, they demanded him to join their club immediately. So literally a week later, they gave Ronaldo the most expensive contract of any teenage football player ever, over 12 million euros, and he officially became a demon. Only problem was, United didn't just want him to become a star. They wanted him to follow in the footsteps of legends and forced him to change his jersey number. All players know in Manchester and around the world as well that number seven is a mythic number in, in this club. Uh, so Alex Ferguson said to me, you're going to take the number seven. It was that kind of moment that you never forget. I knew it's the history 
of the number seven in the club. Damn. <laughs> if it was. I, this is one of the only facts that I didn't know. I didn't know that's why he chose the number seven. I didn't realize he, he loved the number eight that much. And I didn't know that Fergie said to him, yo, this is going to be legendary, so take seven. That's W. I didn't. This is the only fact I didn't know throughout this whole video, bro. Which is crazy as a Messi fan. Wasn't for that one decision, we would have never even heard of CR7. But at number one, Ronaldo's been secretly changing the world. There's not a single athlete who loves saving lives as much as Ronaldo. From paying $83,000 for a young fan's brain surgery to wow. spending $165,000 on a cancer center that wow. even helped his mom beat the disease. Ronaldo also auctioned off his Ballon d'Or trophy for 600 k to donate all of his earnings to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. I gotta search that up, bro. Ronaldo auction Ballon d'Or. Christian Ronaldo sold his 2013 Ballon d'Or trophy to Israel's richest man, Aiden Ofer, with 9 billion businessmen paying 600000 at a London auction to raise money for charity Make-A-Wish in 2017. Oh my god. W Ronaldo in the comment section, bro. I had, Those are the only two things I didn't know about. Number Fact number two and fact number one. You see why that's see that's why I said, bro. Y'all gotta get over this childish beef between Messi and Ronaldo, bro, because you gotta just appreciate both of these guys, bro, as players. Like both of them, what they did for the sport is incredible, man. What they did for us as fans watching El Clasico over the years and all this stuff, you know what I mean? The we it, it brought hatred, it brought hatreds, hatred, it brought hate to the fan bases, but they did electrify football in a way that it changed it. Like, if you think about the numbers that Ronaldo and Messi used to put up, bro, you'd laugh at Haaland and Mbappe right now, bro. That's just the beginning, though, because Ronaldo was motivated to save as many people as he could during the COVID pandemic. He not only donated a million dollars to Portuguese hospitals to help fight the virus, he took a $4 million pay cut so that no employees of his club would be laid off. Wow. But some of Ronaldo's biggest donations came because of devastating earthquakes. When one of the deadliest in history destroyed Turkey and Syria by killing over 50,000 people, Ronaldo I actually remember that. I remember when that happened. Ronaldo sent planes with care packages to survivors in the area. And after an earthquake hit Nepal, Ronaldo made a $7 million donation to aid the country that got him named the world's most charitable athlete of all time. Wow. Getting that title may have cost him millions, but it's worth more than anything he's done on the field. What Ronaldo's doing for the world makes me think there'll never be another athlete or a person like him ever again. And as you can see, there's a lot of things Ronaldo doesn't talk about much, but if you didn't know those things about him, I guarantee there's things you didn't know about football. There's a rule named after Ronaldo, there's a secret two-point line. FIFA got hit with a $20 billion controversy, which is leading to the craziest video game of all time. There's plenty you didn't know. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. But yeah, man, that's the end of the video. W Ronaldo, W kick flakes. Brilliant video, mate. Um, yeah, man, I learned a lot. Honestly, the last two, I learned a lot, bro. W Ronaldo, I respect Ronaldo even more now, bro, as a Messi fan, bro. But yeah, man, let me know your thoughts on the comment section. Did you know any of these facts? What facts did you not know about Ronaldo? Let me know the videos you want me to react to next, bro. It's your boy, to the man. Subscribe if you're not already. Road to 100,000 subscribers. Hit that subscribe button down below, man. We out here. Sue!